سيدنا ومولانا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم مد يا سيدي يا سلطان الاولياء ما شاء الله لي فايز دغستاني مد يا سيدي يا سلطان الاولياء ما شاء الله محمد نازم عبد الحكاني مد يا سيدي يا مولانا الشيخ هشام كباني انظر حالنا وايشوانا وبدون بمددكم من نزلكم ان شاء الله الحمد لله انا عبد الكراجي سدائي فمسكين نزال وجهل ان الله عز وجل forgive us and bless us and asking to be nothing and enter the oceans of Allah Azawajal's rahmah. Alhamdulillah, reminder from myself always that anytime we ask for permission to move towards haqqaiq and realities realities of the self who knows himself will know his Lord from the holy hadith of Prophet that it requires patience and the patience that from what we don't understand or our knowledge is incomplete not to become confused but to have patience and meditate and contemplate and Allah describes that all realities of samawati wal ard are known to the people of tafakkirun they tafakkur they contemplate then nothing will be from just the eyes that you see it and you understood it, but to use all of the elements to bring that reality for our lives and to make that what we heard to be real for us. When we were talking today with some guests yesterday about ilmu yaqeen and ayn al yaqeen and haqq yaqeen, reminder always that. Ilm yaqeen is a knowledge but a knowledge based on taste and from what you whether you read the knowledge and you accompanied the teachers of knowledge what they want for us is to have real knowledge conveyed by people who are real and they experience that knowledge and it is upon their soul they talk to you from their soul and not from their mind and an example that we gave and an example in our lives is that it has to be real for the person speaking not just from books you can read a book and any book you like but the tafakkirun and the people of tafakkur they have to take that meditate and contemplate on that and it has to become something real for them. Otherwise you're not able to convey and in Naqshbandiya not allowed to convey that which you haven't tasted because it's not real for you although it's a reality. And one example to understand that is somebody giving you a brochure for Hawaii. And we talked about that example the other day. Somebody sends you a brochure and says, yes, it's here this beautiful island of Hawaii, the hotel is like this, the sands are beautiful and white, the ocean is beautiful and green and the restaurants are like this. He's reading the brochure, he, he's never been to Hawaii. So he's reading this brochure to you to sell you the package to go there, which he has never gone there. So why, why he's selling you the package for somewhere he hasn't gone? That's one, that's the understanding. Because in, in basic English we can understand it as soon as you turn it into Islamic terminology people get confused. So you're now selling me a package that you haven't gone. But yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter, who knows what's the difference? The sand is a beautiful sand, I see the picture, you'll see that picture when you go there. The ocean is very beautiful, the hotels look marvelous and they sell you on that package having never gone. So somebody who has gone to a place immediately goes into the ocean and finds, hey, this sand that you showed, inside the ocean is all jagged coral. Because Hawaii is known for their jagged coral. That many people go in and they cut all their feet. Many people who surf on those waves, when they have an accident, they can become all cut up. They become shredded and they call it shredding. But you had to have been in that ocean to have understood there's something in that ocean that's dangerous. There's something of other realities in that ocean that not visible from the picture that you are seeing. And the people of haqqaiq 
means Allah took them to that sand and they looked. Allah took them to the ocean and they went in. And in the ocean they discovered what's happening in that ocean. They understood there's a corals, there's danger, there's jewels, there's gems. Means that their life is based on experience. If you're selling me a package and a brochure and reading something and reading it to me by translating it but you have not yet tasted it and made it to be real for you, that's not the ilmu yaqeen that they're talking about. Ilmu yaqeen is to take these realities, these loves, this sharia, tariqa, marifa, haqiqa, all the levels of this reality is then to make it real for ourselves. So we take a knowledge and we begin to take a path of tafakkur. That Ya Rabbi I want from these ilm of yaqeen and I want to be taught from the people of yaqeen, the people of inner certainty. That the knowledge they convey is not a knowledge that they read. But some of them you may even find them to be ummi, they are not read people, they are not professionally trained in schools. Means even more of a sign the knowledge that come is coming from the knowledge of the heart. That that in that they convey to you is not something that they read but Allah put them through to taste from that understanding it became a yaqeen and a truth for them. As soon as they took the knowledge and they took a path of tafakkur and contemplate and they begin all their lives to sit and contemplate and contemplate and they make a room like a qabr where we talked before. They cut the lights, they put a candle and they begin to take a way of meditation. And they begin to know all of their defects and all of their characteristics. Only through all that struggling and striving against themselves, then Allah begins to open. That when they have sincerity, Allah begins to open upon their heart. They begin to hear what people can't hear. They begin to see what people can see. They begin to feel and taste and smell what people can't. And this is the holy… All of, all of these are from hadith. These are not from people making up cuckoo stories. This is holy hadith of Prophet Allah just said, come with voluntary worship, not your fart. Fart you have to do. Do things on a voluntary basis because voluntary shows love. That Allah is teaching us, come, come with love to me. If I find sincerity in the love that you are doing, in the way that you are performing, I will be the hearing in which you hear. That hearing is an eternal hearing, it goes with you to the grave, goes with you to akhirah that your soul is an open soul. This I'll be your ears but I'll be your sifat of hearing. I will dress you from my sami. That you'll hear from my attribute, you'll see from my attributes, you'll feel and taste and breathe from my attributes. Your hand, my hand upon your hand, your hand will have power. Your feet upon my feet, upon the feet of Prophet Allah has no hands and feet. That dress is the dress upon Sayyidina Muhammad Means that Prophet madad and support, support us and dress us. That becomes Ayn al-Yaqeen. That the knowledges you are being fed are from the people of ilm yaqeen And the knowledges that you are taking and beginning to train yourself with tafakkur to open the ayn, open the eye of the heart and even more in depth is Allah's ancient ayn. Because the ayn is not only your eye but Allah's sifat al alim but I'm going to open for you my ancient alim. Sifat ala alim, Allah's ancient knowledges. So that to dress you and bless you, no doubt your soul will be open. But what I'm going to grant you of yaqeen from this ancient ayn. That all knowledges and all realities coming from that sifat. If Allah begin to dress you from that ayn means He's taking you to become from Ibadullah. Because you've been in training of Rijalullah. You cannot be from Rijalullah if you are not sitting in zikr. If you're sitting at home you are wasting your time. If you are going from place to place 
looking for some authority in dunya, you are wasting your time. Look for the authority with Allah the Ulul Am. They are the people who are under Allah's Am. They are taking commands from Allah through the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Atiyallah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. Means then they teach us, then seek those, seek those whose their knowledge is real knowledge. Their hearts are open, their souls are open. Means they are training you now to be from Rijalullah. Because when we're asking, Ya Rijalullah, Ya Ibadullah, Ya Ibadullah, Ya Rijalullah, Rijalullah, the ones in training, and Allah describes them in Surah Al Nur that neither business nor merchandising distracts them. They are waiting for their covenant from Allah They're willing, they're waiting to fulfill their covenant from Allah because they have to work, they have to live in dunya, they're not hidden in the mountains. Those are a different class of awliya. But they're amongst people and they're doing their trade, they're doing their work, they're doing everything they had to do just like sahabi. They had to work, they had to earn, they had to do what they have to do but it didn't distract them from the remembrance of their Lord and they are waiting for Allah's approval. If Allah grant them maut al qabl and maut that you are like a dead one in dunya but you are alive with us in our Divine the Presence. Means dressing that ayn upon the servant, from that ayn that begin to dress you from the Bahr Qudra. Because the abd has to have the ba. What is the ba? It means all my ayn is coming on to Holy Qur'an. All my ancient knowledges are moving through that Holy Qur'an. And all of Qur'an in Fatiha, all of Fatiha in Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, all of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem in ba. So ab is not a slave like in dunya, you buy them and, and release them and use them and abuse them. Abd is someone whom Allah taking to His Divine the Presence, dressing them from ancient knowledges, throwing their souls into Bahr Qudra and the dal that giving to them that they are the dalis and the guide for all of creation. For their time on earth they are guide and for their time in the heavens they'll be an eternal position of guidance under the dress and the lights of the Muhammadiyoon. Means that's in yaqeen that Allah want us to receive from those knowledges as they train you to become Rijalullah. Means that you begin to train and train that Ya Rabbi what I'm seeking is not here, not in this physical world but in your Divine the Presence. I'm going to use my physical world for dunya hasanat, akhirah hasanat. I want to get to the akhirah. And the realities of Akhirah, I'm going to use my time in dunya to achieve that hasanat of Akhirah, Ya Rabbi. So it means then use your sustenance in that way, use your time in that way, use everything that Allah has given to you in the way of becoming from Rijalullah. The men of Allah, those whom Allah is pleased with. And Allah when pleased with that servant begins to dress that servant with sincerity. When they train and learn how to block out the dunya and open up the akhirah, open their heart, then Allah begin to dress them from haqq yaqeen, the certainty of haqq. And brick by brick this haqq begins to open because they begin to have visions. They begin to hear the reality, see the reality, taste the reality, it is a haqq for them. Then he asked that Allah described, I created the heavens and the earth in haqq. So then they take you into haqq. If Allah is going to open for you haqq, they begin to train you in the way of marifa. That when you say Allahu Haq, no doubt Allah Allahu Haq. But they want to go deep into that reality that Allah for us beyond contemplation. Don't contemplate Allah Prophet said when you want to contemplate, contemplate creation. Don't look to the whereness, the howness and the whyness of Allah not for us. 
Allah is owner of the attributes is a description of attributes for the Divine but by means of those Divines you can never attribute them to Allah You can't say Allah is high because we are people of life and death. Allah is not in the ocean of life and death but it's a description that the ever living and everything that ever living coming from that Creator so I said, don't go there, don't try to figure out and to understand Allah What Allah wants from us is then they teach you to go into that haqq, go into that ocean of creation. Learn the oceans of realities that, Ya Rabbi who knows himself will know his Lord. As soon as I go into myself and want to know that my soul and my light coming from Muhammadun Rasulullah that soul is the soul of haqq. That reality and light is the haqq of Allah that is the truth of Allah Because la sharik, there's no place that you can go to see Allah What Allah wants us to see is look to Muhammadun Rasulullah And that light and that soul is made from haqaf, ha from hal oceans of hayat. Qaf is from Al Qayyum, from the ever eternal. So, what makes the haqq and anything to be from the reality of haqq, from the reality of Prophet's soul that we created in San from a nafs al wahid, from one soul, all creation is coming. All the samawati wal ard has been created by this haqq, and it is high. Not like your dunya where everything comes and goes and destroyed and dead and Allah wants us to always see it by the seasons. See how there's all these things are green, a few months later all of them are dead. Don't put your love in that which is perishing. But my heavens and your malakut, the origin of your light, it's high. And because it's high, Allah is supporting its life by giving it to be qayyum, its sustenance coming from Allah Means that greater haqq and the reality of that soul that is encompassing everything, its haqq from that drop Allah gives to your soul to be haqq. Your soul is alive. It's Hayyu al Qayyum, you don't feed your soul, and there's nobody that can starve your soul. Its sustenance comes from Allah. Is that's the haqq yaqeen that they want to take us? Is that these knowledges are you, you're hearing, or they're going to take you to that destination, or they're wasting your time? The political understanding of Islam for what? What's going to do for your soul and is it going to take you any closer to haqq? Is it going to open up the reality of al-hayat and to be from the servants of al-hayat? Where Nabi Musa salam wanted to meet one of those Muhammadan servants and the sign from the two rivers where the fish came to life. The dead fish for their lunch came to life, ajabak that it came to life and jumped into the water. And that was the sign of Al-Hayat. And if Allah dress us from Al-Hayat, begin to dress us from Al-Qayyum and that that soul is sustained by Allah If we can reach towards the reality of eternity, means then we achieve what Allah wanted us to achieve in this material world. That we waste our time in accounting and law in this and that, everything that we're doing and think that we are accomplishing something and building something and all of it is an illusion. You do what you have to do to pay your bills. But at night Imam Ali said, oh, as if the world is coming to an end. In the morning as if it's going to be forever, work hard. But at night struggling with ourselves. Our zikr, our awrad and our practices, our tafakkur, our contemplation as much as we can to come to zikr and to majlis salli al-Nabi 
for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to cleanse and to purify and to be taught from ilm al yaqeen to be trained in ayn al yaqeen so that Allah dress us from that sifat al aneem and then from that Allah dress us from the haqq yaqeen that to reach certainty, Ya Rabbi, I want to be dressed from Bahr al Hayat. I want to reach to the Qayyum, to the eternal souls and springs. That when you quench my soul with that from the oceans of Kawthar, to reach towards its realities and its blessings, we pray that Allah dress us from these lights, bless us from these lights. The next few months, the opening of the holy month of Raja, holy month of Sham, Shabban and the holy month of Ramadan. We pray that Allah give us life to see those months and give us a himma to accomplish what needs to be accomplished for our soul. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir Surat al-Fatiha. Sidna al-Nabi, Sidna al-Nabi, Sidna al-Nabi, Sidna al-Nabi,